G'day everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I created this composite that I have on the screen here. So as usual, let's get started. I'm going to start with a file and a new, and I'm going to use a template, this one 1600 by 900, and just go create. Make it a little bit smaller and add a new pixel layer down here on add pixel layer. Over to my fill tool, I'm going to change my colors to black and fill that pixel layer with black. My next picture that I'm going to add is this picture of the sky and the stars. So I'm just going to simply copy that over with a command C over to this picture. Let's move this one all the way down here so we know where we're at and right on top command V. Let's double click and then come over to our move tool so we can resize this. Command zero to get it back to normal size. And I'm just going to make sure I've got snapping on here. I'm just going to snap that into place. I'm going to drag it down till I can't see the land anymore. And then move that all the way across. Command zero. Okay, so I've got that positioned there. The next picture that I'm going to bring over is this picture of the mannequin here. And it's a PNG file, so I'm just going to copy that, Command C. Take that over to my picture here, clicking on the background and right on top, Command V. And then I'm still on my Move tool, so I'm going to resize the mannequin. And place it just on the edge there. That looks pretty good about there. And I will have this PNG file available for you on the Buy Me A Coffee site. So you can go across there and download that absolutely free. So the next picture I'm going to bring over now is this picture of the woman here. And I'm going to use my selection brush tool and I only want the woman's head. So I'm just going to make a selection just around her head here. And a little bit of her neck there, that looks pretty good. So that's okay, let's copy that, Command C. Over to our picture again, right on top of the mannequin, Command V. Let's make that a little bit smaller and just get the sort of profile that we want here. So we may need to just make that a little bit bigger. Turn it around a little bit. I am going to use my Mesh Warp tool here just to move that up a little bit. And I'm just moving these around, maybe forward, bring those lips forward a little bit. And then just on that little white nodule there, we can get these little handles here and we can just do a little bit more refining. And that looks pretty good about there for now. Let's hit apply on that. We're going to fix that up a little bit better shortly. Going to make another copy of the mannequin with a command J and I'm going to move one on top. This one, I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. And as you can see, it's sort of given us that real plasticky look. So again, I'm going to grab my mesh warp tool and I again just move some of this in place. I'm going to move this one back to get the eye in place a little bit. It's not looking too bad actually. So let's just hit apply on that. On the bottom one here, I want to get rid of some of the black around here. So I'm just going to erase some of this one with my erase tool. My brush is not too big, not too small. There we go. Let's just erase some of that. And that's actually looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. On the top one here, I'm going to add a recolor. Drag that down and clip it just to the mannequin here. And I'm going to change that to the blues, to the darker blues. And that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Going to now click on the picture of the woman's head. Just grab my erase tool again and I just want a small brush and I'm just going to straighten this up a bit so it looks like that's a suit that she's wearing there. And maybe a little bit on the neck there. That looks pretty good. So let's bring over the picture of our mesh here. So command C over to my picture 
Again, we'll just put that on top for now. Command V, double click onto our move tool so we can resize that. We want it really quite small. Make it a lot smaller and a lot thinner. And we'll just resize it there. Again, we're going to use our mesh warp tool here. So I can just manipulate that a little bit so it looks like it's part of her suit here. Clicking on that little nodule. And let's just pull that back about there and bring it down a tiny bit. Let's hit apply on that. Let's change the blend mode to multiply. And I might just move, click on all of these and might just move my model back a tiny little bit and then move this back a little bit as well and up. Just grab my mesh warp tool again just to fix that up a little bit. And I am going to add a mask on that. So down here on a mask, clicking on the mask, grabbing my brush tool, fairly soft brush, making sure my color's black and about 10% on my flow. And I'll just blend that in a tiny little bit. That's not looking too bad, so that's pretty good. So. The next thing I'm going to do is just on the woman's head is add an adjustment and I'm going to add an exposure. Clip the exposure and then just darken her face up a little bit. That looks pretty good about there. The next picture I'm going to bring over is this picture of the headset here. I'll make my brush a little bit bigger. I'm using my right and left bracket keys. I'm on my selection brush tool and I'll just make a selection of this headset all the way around and then just copy that over with the command C. Over to my picture here, I want it underneath the plastic and above the model's head, so command V. Double click, move tool and resize. Command zero to get back to normal size. And now we can resize this headset and just position it in place. I'm gonna put it about there where the ear is, maybe a little bit bigger. Let's just zoom in with our Command Plus. Have a look at that. That actually looks pretty good. I'm going to click on the picture of the mannequin here and just take my erase brush and just get rid of a bit of that sort of there so we don't see that ear back on this headset. I'm just going to bring the opacity down to 95. Looks pretty good. Underneath that, I'm going to add a new layer. So right on top of the head, new pixel layer, changing the blend mode to overlay. Grabbing my brush tool, still painting in black. Flow 10% is pretty good. I'm gonna make my brush quite small maybe a little bit bigger than that. And I'm going to add a little bit of shadow. Here we go, maybe just a little bit more there. Command zero. We can always drop the opacity on that a little bit, maybe down to 75 on that shadow there. I'm going to add an exposure to this headset as well. So adjustments, exposure, clip that just to the headset and let's just Darken those down a tiny little bit, maybe about there looks pretty good. Okay, just to do something a little bit different, let's come over to this picture here and make a copy of it. Command J. And on this top one here, let's grab our flood fill tool here, make sure it's on white. And let's just make all of this white. And this little bit here too, right on there, make that white. So we've got a black and a white copy. I'm going to put the black copy on top. And holding my shift key, select both and command G. So I've got this sort of group of a black copy and a white copy. I'm going to copy that over with a command C. Come over to my picture. And above the headset here, go command V. Double click. Grab my move tool and I'm just going to make that quite small. 
just so it fits in in that headset there. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see what we're doing. We'll put a little logo on there, but we'll have a little bit of a twist on this logo. Um, let's resize it. About there looks pretty good, right in the middle. Let's open the group. On each of these, let's change the blend mode to soft light. Let's do the same on the white copy. Let's go blend mode, soft light. While we're on that white copy, let's use our arrow keys and just arrow to your left a little bit, just once. And you can see now that we've created this logo. If we go the other way, we'll get an embossed look. So that's embossed into it. And if we arrow to the left, we'll get a raised look. So to the left is a raised look and to the right is an embossed look. I think I'm gonna go the raised look on this one. Command zero. Let's make a copy, Command J, and move one of these down here. And on that one, we'll go the other way. Back on that group, we'll make that a bit bigger. Turn it round like it's on her chest, like that's her logo for her spacesuit. So pretty happy with that. You can see on our model here that the plastic is sort of finishing just a bit behind this black part here. So I'm gonna click on that and come over here to my mesh warp tool. And right under the chin, I'm just gonna double click to put a line here. So I'm only gonna affect what's under here. And I'm just going to drag that out a little bit. Use my little handles again to just bring that a little bit forward. A little bit back. And these ones here, just back a little bit. That's a little bit better. Let's hit apply. So that so that line is just affecting what's below or what's above. So let's just apply that and that looks a little bit better. Okay, we are ready to bring over the picture of our jellyfish. Now this is a jellyfish that I created from about four different jellyfish and I've put them together on a PNG file. So this one will be available for you on the Buy Me A Coffee site as well. Let's just copy that over, Command C. Right on top for now, Command V. Come over to our move tool and let's just move it, make it a bit bigger. About there, I think, let's just move that. About there looks pretty good. There's gonna be a little bit of a twist to this picture at the end, so we'll just put it there for now. On the picture here, we'll come over here to our selection brush tool. Make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna select just the top of the jellyfish here, holding my option key to get rid of the rest of this selection. Don't want the rest, just, just sort of the top here. I'm gonna go Command J and then get rid of the marching ants, either Escape or Command D. On that one, I'm gonna come over here to my Move tool. Just move that out and turn it around. And then right on the model's face here, I'm gonna put it right there and then I'm going to change the blend mode to color. On this one still, I'm gonna grab my smudge brush tool over here, this little hand. The flow is 100 and the strength's 50. And I'm gonna start smudging that layer. I might turn the strength up even to 100. Let's start smudging that layer, bit of color, all the way back. Okay, that looks pretty good. Going to, still on this layer, grab my erase brush tool and just erase the bits in front of her face here. And I think I need a little bit more on the top here, so I'm just gonna come back to that and back to my smudge tool. Smudge a little bit up the top here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe back to the erase tool. There's a bit under here that we need to get rid of. Sorry, back to the erase tool. Okay, and now I'm going to turn that opacity all the way down to about, oh, let's go 40% just to get that color, maybe 45. 
just to get that color coming from our jellyfish there. Going to make a copy of that, Command J, and then bring that copy just down onto our suit here and just stretch that out a little bit. So we've got some of that color going onto the suit as well. And again, I'm gonna take my erase brush tool and just erase these bits that I don't want. And back on my move tool, I'm just gonna stretch that out a little bit. And that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So I've got that color from our jellyfish going onto the face and onto the suit. So I'm going to bring over some other jellyfish pictures now. So I'm going to bring over these ones. Again, Command C, back to my original picture. And again, right on top, Command V, double click on my move tool. And we can resize that again. And then Command zero. These ones I'm going to turn around, sort of place maybe about there change the blend mode to screen. And I'm just going to show you when I click off this, you'll see this line going all the way around. So I'm going to click back on, come over here to blend modes or blend options on the source layer ranges here. I'm going to take this little nodule here and pull it all the way down. Click off that and then you'll see that I don't have that line anymore. I'm going to make another copy, Command J. This one I'm going to move all the way down the bottom here and turn around again. And I'm just going to bring that sort of maybe about there. That looks pretty good. And then here comes a little twist for this picture. I'm going to bring over the picture here. Sort of looks like a window, but I think it's more like a temple taking the picture from the bottom looking out. But that's okay. I'm going to use it as a window. So make sure we're clicked on the background. Command C, let's bring it over to my picture going to put it above the background down here with a command V. Double click just to make it quite small for now. Command zero, make that a little bit smaller. Going to start by putting it up here and then dragging it all the way down. And all I want is sort of a tiny bit of this picture. So I'm just gonna keep dragging it out. Maybe make that a bit smaller. Drag it out, drag it out. And I just want, maybe, let's have a look at that, Command-0. Go back onto our Move tool. Maybe just about, make it a bit smaller again. Just want to drag that out. Oh, maybe about there, Command-0. Make that a little bit smaller. Okay, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So to get this right, because this is gonna be sort of destructive. So that's okay. Let's go and give this a go. So I'm gonna take my erase brush, gonna make my brush not so soft, maybe about there. Going to turn the opacity and the flow all the way up to 100%. The hardness can come down to about 10. I'm going to make it fairly big and I'm just going to erase this and like I said this is going to be destructive now so we can't get this back if we make a mistake we'll have to start again it's okay make my brush a little bit smaller and I'm just going to go around here you could mask all this out if you wanted to but I'm just going to do it this way this week a bit quicker all the way around and just delete that till we see Get rid of it all. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now that looks like our window. Let's put a bit of a exposure on that as well. Clip it. Let's make that a bit darker. That looks okay about there. Okay, so now behind that window, I'm going to add this piece of glass here. So Command C, back over to my picture, and I want this behind the window, so Command V. Let's make that smaller. Let's just double click on that, make this a little bit quicker. 
Let's get back. Now we want to cover this all the way over. Stretch it out. Make that a bit smaller. Let's just stretch this out. About, sort of about there. Come on, zero. Make that a bit smaller. Okay, let's change the blend mode to screen and drop the opacity to 50%. So what we'll do is these two jellyfish here, we'll highlight them and move them down here under the window. Also got to move our main jellyfish as well down here under the window, just like that. So it looks like the jellyfish is on the outside of the window. Okay, so I'm going to bring over my last picture here, which is the picture of the planet, Command C. Back over to my picture, and again, this is going to be outside of the window, so just above the background, Command V, double click. Let's make that really small, and then it's going to sit down here in the corner, Command Zero. Again, we'll change that to screen, and we'll do the same with the blend options. Bring that down, and then let's just drop the opacity on that one down to about 70%. Okay, with my glass, I'm going to come back to my glass. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Back onto my move tool. I'm just going to move that around a bit till I see these streaks here. I want those sort of streaks by the jellyfish here. So I'll just move that into place. Command zero. Right on top, I'm going to do one of my little favorite adjustments, which is the lens adjustment lens filter here just to give that a little bit of an extra glow so one more little thing to do or a couple of more little things to do notice that this doesn't look quite right here so I'm going to come back onto this mesh layer here just grab my erase brush just going to erase that a little bit just so that looks a little bit better then back up to the top here let's come up to layer merge visible and now let's come over to our tone mapping this week let's use our tone mapping let's use the detailed one tone compression I'm going to bring all the way down to about 15 the exposure is going to come down and I'm going to bring the contrast down a little bit as well up the saturation and up the vibrance and I think that looks pretty good so I'm going to hit apply so there we go everybody that is my composite for this week I call solace I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial if you have please give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing to the channel hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading my next video don't forget the jellyfish and the mannequin will be available for you in png file on the buy me a coffee site that will be absolutely free for you to download but until next time i'm going to say to you stay well stay safe and i'll see you in the next video